Okay, this one's about error codes on train furnaces. This covers most train furnaces that have the IFC or integrated furnace control. Uh, some of the newer ones will have a little more expensive ones, but this covers most. Okay, we're looking at the bottom panel of this furnace, and uh, you can see the little window right there. That's what we would normally look through. Now I'm going to pull the cover off. These things won't run with the cover off unless you bypass a switch, but I'm going to get it set up so that we can take a look inside and find out where these codes are and what they mean. Now here we have the cover off. If you look close you can see all the codes are right here. Now I'm looking at the bottom of the control. We've got several lights. The only lights we're going to worry about right now is this one here. I'm going to focus in on it a bit. Now this code here is the code for everything's normal with no call for heat. It's just going to be a slow flash. So when I call for heat it's going to change to a fast flash. Okay, here we have the fast call, or the fast blink, which means there's a call for heat, everything's normal. Now it's going to attempt to light off. Okay, this is a two blink code. Two blinks and a pause. That's flame failure. For some reason, the flame is not lit. So, this could be gas supply, this could be a flame rod not sensing flame, hot surface igniters broken, a number of things like that. Start with a simple one, flame rod probably needs to be clean. Uh, so that is flame failure. This is a three blink code. That's a pressure switch failure. Now it's not telling you that it's a pressure switch problem. It's telling you it's a vacuum problem. Most of these things don't give you accurate ideas of what has actually happened to the furnace. They give you a place to look. So this could be a pressure switch problem. Could be that pressure switch failed. It could be blockage in the vent, snow, ice, water in the vent. Now it's going to try again. Because every time it goes off on this uh, pressure switch problem, it gives it a little while and then it tries again. Because it's thinking maybe there's water in the vent or something like that. And if so, maybe the water will run out and we can still get some heat. The other thing that happens here commonly is the uh, condensate drain, which comes out of the bottom of the inducer. On this furnace, it's right there. Sometimes that drain will plug, and that'll cause a problem. Usually you hear a noise in the inducer from it. So that's a pressure switch problem. Now it, it is shut off again, and it's going to try again after a little bit. When you're dealing with this pressure switch problems, don't just go to the pressure switch and say that's it. Look for blockages in the vent, water in the vent. Sometimes the vent is not pitched towards the furnace. Because water that gets into the vent should actually go to the furnace. Uh, if it's flat or something like that, then it's not going to go back to it and it's going to build up in the vent pipe or it can even build up in the combustion air pipe if you have one. Uh, so look for pressure problems before you jump on that pressure switch. Okay, this one here, the four blinks, that means a temperature switch is open. This could be a rollout switch, this could be a limit switch that's sensing the temperature inside the furnace. There's a number of things it could be. Uh, you look first for plug filter plug blower wheel, 
On this furnace, it has a secondary heat exchanger. You have to remove the blower to find that, and it may be plugged. You could have a plugged air conditioning coil, or you could have ductwork that has been crushed or something like that. But that's an over temperature limit. Okay, the continuous on, if it happens to be that way, the control has failed. Uh, there's also a flame sense with a gas valve off. Pretty uncommon, that'd be a stuck on gas valve. I uh, haven't seen that one happen. The others are, uh, you know, if there's no light there, check the power. So that is the error codes for the train furnace. Not any special model, but the train furnaces use a lot of these same codes.